ayes have it. Unlock. Order. Programme motion to be moved formally. I beg to move. Move formally, thank you. The question is as on the order paper. As many as other opinions say aye. Aye. Of the contrary, no. So, as we were hearing there, we've just been listening to uh, the result of a vote. MPs have just voted on the second reading of this Brexit deal legislation. Uh, and the result, we're just hearing from the Speaker, John Burko, there, that lawmakers have approved the second reading of that legislation. That was a result that was widely expected. But basically, today was the first time that MPs uh, got the opportunity to vote on whether to back Boris Johnson's deal in principle. But it, it, it's really, uh, the really important part of developments today is going to be a vote on what is called called the program motion. Uh, we haven't had a vote on that yet. That is the second vote that's going to take place today. MPs are just uh, filing out of the chamber right now. But that program motion is very significant because this is the timetable in which the government wants to push Brexit through. Uh, and the indication is at the moment from the government uh, that this all this could be pulled, that if, if MPs do not agree, uh, to this timetable uh, that this legislation will be pulled. Um, so that's what, uh, where things stand at the moment. Lawrence Lee is live for us in Westminster. And so, Lawrence, it might not be the absolutely crucial bit of today's proceedings in Parliament, but I suppose it is significant that Boris Johnson managed to get a deal with Brussels and he managed to get a majority in the House of Commons as well. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the significance of it is it's actually the first time that the British Parliament's actually voted for any sort of Brexit deal, even given the gigantic reservations that so many MPs have against it. Remember, Theresa May lost her deal uh, in a meaningful vote on three separate occasions, and, and our Parliament has actually voted for this. But we heard Conservative MPs, senior Conservative MPs, saying in the run-up to the vote, look, we understand that you don't like this version of Brexit, but it's not about you anymore. It's about trying to get some sort of Brexit over the line. Um, and so it is tremendously complicated. And in the meantime, as you say, they've now gone on to vote on the, on the, uh, the second motion, the, 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 the programme motion, which we can explain a bit now. It's terribly complicated. You need a planet-sized brain to understand this, and Alan Wager fortunately has <laughs> one. I'm just seeing you up a bit here. Um, how significant, first of all, that the, the Parliament has actually voted in favour of something, even if it doesn't like it very much? Well, right, it's the first time that the Parliament has really voted in favour of any sort of, of Brexit agreement, and it would give Boris Johnson a 30-vote buffer going into trying to pass the rest of that bill through committee stage and through third reading, all the way to it becoming law. He'd have 30, a 30-seat 30 majority there. He could lose 15 MPs during the course of passing that bill, and he would still make it law. So, so, so he can now say he's got a mandate for this, and... Trying, trying to prevaricate and get in the way of it is, is, is getting in the way of a, 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 a binding vote on one level. Yeah, the European Union have taken this on board. They'll see this majority, this 30-vote 30, this 30 majority. It's not pure and simple a majority for Boris Johnson's deal. Some of these MPs want to change Boris Johnson's deal. But it does give a strong indication that if he kept ploughing on and trying to pass his deal, uh, then he could get, a, could get it through the House of Commons. Whether or not he tries to do that is another matter. And, the, and these amendments that you mentioned, the, 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 the changes that they want to try and introduce when they come to voting on Wednesday tomorrow, based on the, re the results of this vote, do you think it's more likely then that those amendments will fail? I think some of the more technical amendments are likely to pass, but some of the more substantive amendments trying to force a, a, a customs union with the, with the, between the UK and the EU and, and trying to force a second referendum uh, are less likely to pass looking at, looking at these numbers. We're looking at maybe some technical changes can be made to the bill to give Parliament a better role, a bigger role going into the next stage of Brexit. But in terms of substantive changes to Boris Johnson's Brexit deal, it's looking less likely on these numbers. Right, and, and meanwhile, they've gone off to vote another thing now, which, which, is, which is the one that the government might lose, having won this, which is because the government wants to drive the entire thing through by Thursday night to get the UK out as close as possible to the end of October. So many MPs are absolutely livid about this because they say they're not giving us time to look at the detail of this, aren't they? Yeah, so this 30-seat majority will last 
as long as it doesn't break apart uh, the inconsistencies in Boris Johnson's Brexit position, right? So the longer the MPs have to look at this bill and chew it over, the logic goes the more some MPs that voted for it today will realise that it doesn't do quite what they want it to do. So is it trying to pull the wool over their eyes then? Is that what they think? Yeah, the quicker they're sort of bounced into this agreement, the more likely it is that they won't be able to find the holes in it that would stop it, stop MPs from voting on it. And that's the logic behind the government's attempt to pass it through this. And, and so just quickly, we find ourselves in this weird situation now where Johnson has said that if he loses the programme motion vote, the next one that they're voting on now, he might pull the bill, even though he's just won a vote on it ten minutes previously. This well, is nuts, isn't it? I guess, I guess it goes back to this do-or-die pledge, pledge that he made when he was trying to become leader of the Conservative Party and, lead, and become Prime Minister. He said that he wouldn't allow the UK to leave uh, after the 31st of October. If this programme motion goes down, it looks less and less likely that MPs would vote through all the stages of the bill before the 31st of October. And so it's become, essentially this vote has become potentially a de facto vote on Boris Johnson's prime ministership and whether or not we have a general election in the UK. Yeah.